with a kettle. Um, these are, looks like someone left their tea in there, didn't they? Uh, all on my nose. Good morning. It's a Friday. Thank God the weekend has landed. Um, today's video, sorry, I'm reseller Dens, and I am a eBay reseller in the UK. Um, and I show you what I picked up, what sold for the weeks, and occasionally I will do out and about videos. I haven't done them for a long time, but I do want to get back into those hopefully in the summer. Um, but last night, thanks to um, good friends of mine, um, Matt and Lev, met, I only met them a couple of times. Um, but they invited us to an auction last night. Good fun. Good to spend some time um, with fellow resellers. <clears throat> Having a chat, a drink, um, and some buy some cool stuff. So today, I'm going to show you um, what I paid, what I bought, and I paid £9 for it all. Now, a lot of this stuff came in bundles, so you couldn't really handpick what you wanted. <clears throat> but I thought I picked up some good stuff. So let me show you. Let me show you first. So, this is the first item that I paid, bought. Now, it's a little plate um, with some cool, funky peacock design on it with a kettle. Um, these are. Looks like someone left their tea in there, didn't they? Uh, all on my laptop. Well done, Dense. Well done. With some tea, I won't pour it out. Um, and these cool little trinket boxes, and the bottom it says it's made from Limoges Castel. Um, yep, all this design, and on one of them, this one in particular, um, it has on it 22k gold. Um, now I'm assuming that's just for the lining here, um, but I will see, I'll do some research on those. Um, I think I bought them for £1.50 in total. I think that's what I paid for them. Let's move them over here, shall we? Don't drop them. <clears throat> so that's the first, that was my first buy. And it came with this tray. Um, it's just a tray. Cool little tray there. Uh, next up, it came with this pile, I think it was. So, puzzle, um, shark bite game, and this game called Triolet. Paid a pound for that, <clears throat> those three items. Games on my thing, right? A couple of these, true or false? What am I? This one is a bit of a clean up, but I'll put those together because they look fairly similar. And um, Ludo Snakes and Ladders. You could go wrong with another pound for those. These two, I was after the Monopoly Junior, to be honest, but um, I might give this to the little boy. Maybe not, because he's too young. Um, and Monopoly Junior. Again, paid a pound. These cool little shoes, brand new. These um, are Primax, Primark size 5 running shoes. Um, I said to the missus that she can have them. Um, but she said that no, she doesn't want them anymore, so I'll put those on eBay. Um, again, I think I paid £1.50 for those. Um, the fail of the day, I think. Um, I wonder whether, because these fingers are broken, I paid a pound fifty for this, I think. Marvel statue. Fingers are broken off. Either they've broken off on our way home, um, but I'm sure I would have spotted that if I was there. <clears throat> But that is very frustrating because this is probably about 
10 to 15 quid on eBay. Um, and it's official Marvel. So that's quite annoying. So if anybody out there just wants this for the shelf, um, let us know and we can come to a deal. Might put it on mine actually. Next up, all of these cameras. Now some are just pointless. So we've got Golden Line Classic MD2. We'll need a bit of wipe down. The Photocraft um, <clears throat> color lens. The FMD system, the Helena Helena Pix 35mm, the Redoxon, now that looks, needs a bit of a wipe down, it looks like it's got some sort of stuff on it. But this is the kitty, I think. This is the one that's going to fetch the most. It's the Panasonic Zoom MC 2000ZZM. Um, does it work? Probably got to stick batteries in it. Um, <clears throat> hopefully, um, if I can get some of these to work, that would be great. If not, I'll just put them on the spare as repair. Um, split them up. This one comes with a bag. So um, yeah, let's see what these go for. Do we? Shall we? And then finally, <clears throat> I've got to pick these up. Finally, picked up a pile of LPs. <clears throat> oh. I picked up that lot for a pound. Should we see what's in there, shall we? Let's flick through them. I've had a bit of a look myself, but this one, Lena Martel, still got his cover on it. Um, I don't know who she is. Coming through the rye, the actual players. Now, I will look at... Sorry, I just caught the camera. I will look at through Discogs in these ones. Um, just to see. And put them on. Put them on there, really, as a collection. And if anybody wants to buy them, let us know in the comments down below. Or, or look, um, search for me on Instagram. I'll put the link on the screen. Um, <clears throat> then we can see if we want any of these. Alexandrov Song and Dance. Oh, I keep catching the screen, sorry. Fairground Fantasia in stereo. Don't get stuck. Ah. That's painful. That's painful. Fairground Fantasia, 20 explosive hits. Who's on there? Chicory Tip? What date was this? 1973. 1973. The Sound of Music. Now hopefully that will be worth a little bit. Cases aren't in the best of conditions though. Black lace, party, party, party. I could do, hands up. Oh, bloody, oh, blada. The Seekers come the day. 16 chart hits, volume 4. What year was this one? It doesn't say. Looks older. Uh, Top of the Pops. What year was this one? Again, doesn't say, does it? Another Top of the Pops. Angel face, I get a little some get a little sentinel over you. Johann Strauss. Tranquility. Mary O'Hara's 20 Songs of Life. 
eternal love. There's a legend here, isn't it? Gilbert O'Sullivan himself. Des O'Connor. I pretend. These look fairly old, don't they? Paul Young. Lorraine Frisura. Lorraine Frisura. Barry Manilow. Golden Hits of Shirley Bassey. Oh, another Shirley Bassey. The World of the Bachelors. Mickey and Griff, a little bit bitty tear. Roy Orbison's Greatest Hits. The Greatest Hits of the 60s. That could be quite cool. Nigel Brooks Singer, Bright and Beautiful. Greatest film, film themes. Say that quickly, film themes, film themes. 16 chart hits, volume 8, <clears throat> The Countryside of Jim Reeves, Donnie and Mary Osmond, Big Tim Lane, volume 2, Barbara Streisand, I'm Barbara Streisand, stop hitting the camera then, come on, Max Bygraves, the world of Val Dunican. Heard of him. Let's all sing volume 35. Just the two of us. Hit hits. Minute of your time. Dream a little dream of me. Why don't I ever put the year on here? Anyway. Julie Andrews. She's one from the Sound of Music, isn't she? TV Western themes. Capital Country. Capital's Country Festival. Glenn Campbell. Another Top of the Pops. Pat Boone. Arcade Records, 40 fantastic hits from the 50s and 60s. Glenn Campbell. And Jack Jones. So yeah, how many is there? One, two, three. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. 45 um, LPs there for one pound. Now... That is pretty good going, I think. So, total spend was nine pounds. Got forty-five LPs. The kettle and the little trinket set. Hulk with some broken fingers. A pair of running shoes. Five cameras. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games and puzzles. You can't. That is a pretty good deal, I think. Um, go through these on Discogs. Um, list all of this stuff I'm going to split these up into their um I'll put these three together and then the others separately all of them go on and yeah well did let me know what you think was it a decent pickup I think this is an absolute bargain and even if you go one pound per record that's still 50 quid close enough um but this lot I don't know anywhere between 15 and 30 the kettle set i have no idea that may even either rock it or just be a dud um and then maybe two pound each for the games and the puzzles so that's another 16 quid there so yeah from nine pound you're probably looking closer to a hundred i think which is pretty standard for what I buy my stuff for and sell them for. So let me know what you think. Hopefully there's some gems in this LP stuff. Um, yeah, and hopefully 
see you in the next one drop a like and subscribe if any of you guys, just closing out this video, if any of you guys are um, in the area on the 12th of March around March Cambridgeshire, PE15 postcode, um, friends of ours are doing a March yard sale, so um, a lot of, almost like a jumble trail, um, so go check it out, I'll put a link in the description down below for the Facebook page, so hopefully um, see some of you there, but he will, I won't, because I, I can't go. Go check it out.